In today's interwoven global economy, a win on the other side of the world can wash up as welcome economic waves on our shores. So it's good news to hear that global manufacturing improved at least a notch in January. Just how's the situation in the mercurial eurozone? Well, PNC keeps a watchful eye on the global economy, and here to give us an update is Bill Adams, Senior International Economist with PNC Financial Services Group. Welcome. Good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, I think last time you were down here, we were sort of poised in amidst great uncertainty about the potential for a real meltdown in Europe and, and some real questions about the global economy. So, mm -hmm. so how's everybody doing right now? We're a notch or two better. Uh, we're not totally out of the woods. I think there's still headwinds. Uh, and Europe is still in recession. They'll probably be in recession until the middle of this year. But uh, if you look at what's going on uh, from surveys of manufacturing worldwide, I think they in Europe they look less bad in January. They've, uh, we've had a, a couple of solid months of improvement through the end of last year. Uh, and in Asia, uh, China's uh, manufacturing is improving, and, and in Japan, too. Uh, so, uh, looking around the world, it seems like we're in a, a little bit stronger opening to the year than we closed in 2012, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see that sustained as the year progresses. Now, I know here in the United States, we took a, a, a hit in the fourth quarter. I assume mm -hmm. a lot of what was going on here was uncertainty about the fiscal cliff and those kinds of factors. The fiscal cliff was definitely slowing business activity down in the fourth quarter of the year. Uh, in particular, manufacturing had a, uh, a slow 2012 in general. Some of that was payback because manufacturing had such a strong recovery mm -hmm. earlier in the recovery from the recession. But uh, looking at business investment in the second half of 2012, definitely slow. Uh, the one part of the economy here in the U.S. that didn't slow down in the end of last year is hiring. Hiring was pretty strong. Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, published a revision of 2012 uh, hiring, raising it by uh, I think around uh, 200,000 jobs uh, uh, between uh, over the course of, of the year of 2012. So uh, hiring stayed on pace at the end of last year, and I think the consumer activity uh, based off of that hiring uh, should contribute to, to better growth this year. You know, after of course the effects of higher taxes, uh, which will probably pass through to, to weaker spending in the first half, go away. So the dip we took was really mm -hmm. more of an anomaly, you think, uh, the, and not a real predictor of where where the U.S. economy might be headed. Well, it's a funny dip. Uh, we saw. I mean, everyone was talking about the fiscal cliff. We all knew about the debt ceiling and these issues that we have in the United States, and we talked about it throughout 2012. It looks like businesses reacted to that in spending decisions most kind of in the second half of last year. So they anticipated what Washington was going to do. Uh, hopefully with that change having already come into effect, we're not going to see as much of an effect on business activity uh, in the first half of this year. However, uh, consumers were pretty strong in the second half of last year, uh, probably reacting to a uh, stock market, reacting to uh, more people getting jobs. And so now, in the first half of this year, we've had tax increases. That's reducing uh, after-tax income, disposable income. And so we're expecting some sort of a pass-through into more subdued consumer spending growth uh, in the first six months of 20, 2013. But still a, an ability to keep growing this year as opposed to another quarter of decline. Uh, we should never underestimate Washington's ability to, to, <laughs> to mess up. things this, up? Okay. Yeah, it, 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 they, could, they could still go wrong, but so far they've done uh, a better job than has than had been feared mm -hmm. in terms of managing the uh, these necessary fiscal adjustments. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, if they continue on this path, and we see uh, some sort of a deal to to manage the implementation of the spending cuts, which have already been negotiated, probably we'll see uh, you know a, an impact on growth, but still something. Uh, around the order of 2% real GDP growth or, a bit, or maybe a bit better. Okay, so you got the U.S. economy, hopefully, with good decision making in Washington, you know, um, heading in toward mm -hmm. the right track. You have the global economy at least appearing to strengthen a little bit. So what about Europe? Is that still a big wild card? Uh? Europe's actually one of the parts of the global economy that has shifted the most from 2012 to 2013. Uh, 2012 it was you know, it was a mess. Uh, 2013, still recession, uh, but Europe looks more like Europe's problem rather than the world's problem right now, and, and rather than our problem. And that's very good news for the U.S., for uh, U.S. manufacturing. Uh, in terms of GDP growth, uh, probably Germany is going to post modest positive growth in 2013, uh, and maybe some of the other northern countries, uh, Spain, Italy, Greece, remain in, in very severe recession. 
Uh, and so for U.S. exporters, uh, there will be business opportunity in some parts of Europe. Uh, and you'll probably also see a recovery of demand for purchases that were delayed in 2012 during the recession coming back a bit, in particular in the second half of this year. Uh, so on the real economy side, Europe's doing a bit better. Uh, the job situation is another story. I mean, unemployment is still at uh, you know, a record high, highest it's been since the founding of the Eurozone. And it'll take a long, long time for them to, to dig their way out of that hole. All right, well, no quick fix, but thanks for the update. At least some, uh, some cautiously optimistic signs out there for mm -hmm. all of us around the world. Bill, Bill Adams from PNC, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And next up, the promise and the pitfalls of social media in the business world. What you don't know can hurt you. Stay with us.